Hey, Skylar here from the Mint Change You Can Wear. And today we're gonna to be making a coin ring out of this. A Civil War era 1864 Seated Liberty half dollar. And you guys will have an opportunity to win this ring. So stay tuned for more details later in the video. First thing we need to do is cut a hole in this guy. You could use the auto punch from jasonsworks.com, but I'm gonna try something a little bit different this time. Cool, that works. And while I'm annealing this coin, I will leave you with the song that topped the charts in 1864. We're gonna put this thing head side down into the die, and then we will start to press it. Whoa, whoa, hold on. That might be a little bit too dramatic. Let's just get to the kneeling and forget all about that last scene. Just sanding it down a tiny bit just so we can see if there's any cracks forming. All right, we're looking all right. Let's continue pressing it out. Oh, how can I stop him? Press on, man, press on. Looking pretty ugly. Don't worry, we're gonna make it look awesome. We have to shrink this thing down a little bit, so we're going to Swedish wrap it and reduce the overall size of it. All right, these are our Swedish wrap dies. All right, let's press it out. All right, one last annealing. Now we're gonna stretch this thing out on the ring stretcher and stretch it out till the ring stretcher touches everywhere on this reeded edge of the coin, or the coin edge. And that's just gonna make sure we get a perfectly even ring when we finish. All right, we're getting closer. You can see that it has a taper to it still though. We need to get rid of that. So what we're gonna do is size this thing down in our reducing plate of the stretcher reducer we have here in the background, and we're gonna get it to our final size that way also. Now we're gonna to use to finish this thing up a 25 degree die. This is going to give it a more dramatic curvature to it. More than the 17 degree dies we were just using well anyway. So we just got done pressing this bottom side and it's curving the other way now, which is exactly what we're looking to do. So we're gonna flip it around and make this other side match in that same 25 degree die. So the curvature is nice and even. And we're pretty much done sizing it now. So what we have to do is get rid of this sharp edge that's in here. That rim of that coin creates a sharp edge and we have to get rid of it and give it more of a comfort fit. I do that on all my rings. And we're using the deburring tool to do it. Now we'll just smooth out any marks that might be in there from the deburring tool. Now that is what we're looking for. Nice and smoothed out, nice and comfortable to wear. This is a citric acid pickle. It's a jeweler's pickle I get from Nature's Touch. And what it does is it's going to clean all the, basically all the junk off of this ring so we can have a clean surface to antique later on. So we're going to throw it in there. Leave it in there for a few minutes, and then we'll pull it out, wipe it off, and clean it up, and get it ready for the antiquing process. Back to raw silver now. So now we have water that's been brought right below boiling, and we're going to be putting in one to two drops of this XL Liver of Sulfur gel. And what this is going to do is basically controlled rust the uh, coin to give it a black finish or a dark antique finish. All right, let's mix that in a little bit. And I had a couple other orders today, so I was just going to do those all at the same time. Waste not, one not. So we leave it in there for about a minute or so. And the longer we leave it in, the darker it's going to get. All right, that's that. Now here's what we're left with after we pull it out of the liver of sulfur bath all equally dark and now we are going to take most of that back off again with some 4-0 steel wool and we just want to leave it looking a little antique 
All right, now we're starting to be able to see some of the detail appear out of that black. And now for the outside. This is what we're left with after we're done with the steel wool. And now we're going to polish it up with a jewelry wipe. All right, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna be giving this ring away to one of you guys. All you have to do in order to enter to win is to make sure you're a subscriber to my channel and then comment on this video and you're automatically entered. And we'll be announcing the winner in next week's video. All right guys, thanks for watching and good luck.